Hey everyone, Decryptalorian here. Wanted to take some time today to give back to the community a bit. I have been playing Axie Infinities for over a year now, and it was one of the first NFT projects that I found uh, when uh, starting to learn about crypto. And of course, I, I, I love gaming and I love NFTs and I love crypto, so it's it was quite the match made in heaven when I first found out about Axies, and it's it's been amazing to watch it grow over the the past year. Uh, there's I've been involved in quite a few things over the past year with Axies, art. I've made a bunch of art. I've bred a bunch of axes. I've sold a bunch of axes. I've played a bunch of the games. I've played in tournaments, and uh, it's it's definitely one of my favorite games, I guess, of all time. Uh, so it just makes sense that uh, I spend some time to teach some of the new folks about how uh, how to do a few things and uh, and give back a little bit uh, where. You know, when I first started, I didn't have any of this stuff. There wasn't, there wasn't these videos. There wasn't, uh, you know, people uh, training others. The, the community has been, since I started, amazing. Uh, but there wasn't any crazy content that really showed me how to do things. Uh, but over over the past year, there's there's been so much more coming out, and uh, I thought this would be a good time with everything going on to uh to kind of give back and teach people what i know so uh i hope you enjoy i hope this is the first of many videos and with that said let's dive in all right so as you can see on my screen here this these are my axes uh, <laughs> i'm very proud of my collection i started with uh with three of course as most people do and it took me a long long time to breed and collect uh the axes uh, because of course um it it costs money uh it definitely does and you know not not a lot of us have a lot of money and it's um those of us coming from the traditional gaming world, uh, we're, we're used to paying a certain amount for things and uh, getting into this space is always a little bit, um, you just, it's unknown, right? For the average gamer, you're saying, okay, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to spend 60 bucks and what do I get? And are my axes going to be good? Am I going to be able to participate in PVP? Will I be able to do the PVE? And it's crazy. I mean, uh, and then then you start thinking about how valuable these little guys are, and uh, you're just saying, "Wow, uh, is it is it worth it?" And I, over the past year, I'd say, "Yeah, it is 100% worth it." If you have the ability to make this investment, you should. Uh, I recommend it 100%. It, it will. It's life changing. It's fun. Uh, there is literally nothing like it on the planet. So um, I, I'm I'm very humble in in the fact that I found this early, uh, not as early as some, but uh, I found it earlier than than most. And yeah, it's it's been life changing. So uh, again, this I'm here for for you and to teach you. Uh, a few things. Uh, so the first thing I wanted to point out is you might see uh, some numbers and stats above my axes. Uh, so I, I'd like to uh, to show you. So I'm going to take my mouse and hover right over. So this is an extension. Uh, today we're talking about breeding. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned that, <laughs> but uh, you know, just some breeding basics and some tools. Uh, so as you can see, I've hovered my mouse over the Axie and there's some stats and uh, you're probably going, what the heck are these things? Uh, well, each Axie has uh, six, six parts and this is a really cool tool. It's called Freak's Axie Extension. Uh, you can get it on the Chrome Web Store. Uh, so let's just uh, let's take a look at that real quick. Oh, boop, there it is. Okay, yeah, th this is a very useful um, 
extension from Freaks uh, that you can add to your Brave or you can add to your Chrome. And it allows you to look at your dominant genes, uh, your R1 genes and your R2 genes. Very important to, to use this type of tool uh, to give you an idea of what to, uh, what to do. So yeah, definitely grab this. This is going to be your best friend and let's go into it a little bit. Um, so you can see here that uh, that this particular uh, it, eh, looks looks like a looks like a bug to me. <laughs> it's got a lot of bird bird uh, parts, but uh, yeah, that's a bug for sure. Uh, and you can see here that you have uh, this zero here, which is the number of breeds that has happened on this particular axis. Uh, you got an H, which is your HP. Uh, S for speed. M for morale, and you have a purity percentage. So those are all really good uh, stats that you can see at a quick glance with this extension. And of course you have your, your parts here. Um, so uh, these are your main, this is your main line. Uh, this is where your cards come in. We'll explain that a, a bit later. Your R2, R1 and R2s. These are your R1 and R2s. These are basically uh, the, the parts that you don't see coming with this axis. So when you're breeding, uh, and we'll get into this, when you're breeding, it's really good to have um, good uh, main R1 and 2s, uh, so that way you get what you want. And you can see here that this is, this is very, uh, very random. So you're not, if you were to breed this axis, the odds of getting, uh, you know, a, a bird little owl here uh, is better um, because there's two in uh, your main and your R1 or R2. Uh, but of course you do have the chance to get the, uh, the ch chubby part. So we'll get into what this means in, good great detail but for right now uh, this is an extension that you should definitely have if you plan on breeding so uh, definitely pick it up it's it's awesome all right so let's let's go back and take a look at one of my axes so right here we have a uh, my fish uh, that we looked at a little bit earlier uh, you can see that from the extension it has been bred twice it has 44 HP 57 speed, very good for a fish. Uh, 28 morale, that determines how uh, your crit chance. So um, crit is obviously a great, great stat. Uh, speed as well. And the purity is 80%. So uh, that just means that if you look at these, uh, the main and R1 and R2s, you can see that there's more fish traits, uh, more fish genes, I guess, if you want to call it, then uh, so there's then than others let's put it that way uh, so let's actually dive into this one so the other great thing about the extension is that you can actually hover over the stats and, and get a quick view again so when you're looking at this screen without the extension uh, you do not get an idea of the r1 or r2s here uh, so all you really know is the body parts and of course each body part has uh, it comes with a thing, right? It comes with a move, um, except for the eyes and the ears, okay? Okay, so down here, you see that this is the back, the mouth, the horn, and the tail, okay? So those are, so again, let's, let's, let's talk about this. The back, goldfish, the mouth, lamb, uh, the horn, shallow star, and the tail is a uh, Navaga. <laughs> I think that's how you say it. <laughs> and so if you go up here and you look, so you, um, when you're looking at the, uh, when you're looking at the traits, so you can see here that basically the mouth here, so you're gonna get a good chance to get another lamb if you're gonna breed, right? Because it's in the, it's in the main line and it's also in the R1. Now you do have a chance of getting Risky Fish as well, different move, but still a fish move, okay? Uh, that's that's pretty important. Uh, 
And so that's, that's a good example of what you want to see if you're going for a pure fish. You wanna see a line like this and you wanna see more of them. So this is also a good line. Um, the, uh, the horn is also a good line. So you, you have a, a chance to get another star move um, or an Aranda, okay? Um, and you could see that the goldfish uh, down there, which is the mouth. No, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. Which is the back. Uh, you could see that there is a bug move uh, kind of coming into play here. So you see that red, uh, which is not, it's not bad. I mean, it, yeah. <laughs> there's there's always a debate like, uh, do you want a pure axie or not? Um, you know, uh, in PVP, it really, it, it, I've I've fought some crazy battles where it doesn't matter, right? It doesn't matter. I mean, you can have the weirdest axie ever, and it's it's how you play it and and what you're playing against. So, um, is it does it matter 100% to be pure? No, uh, but the value of things uh, as they stand, yes, pure is better. Um, and of course, different move sets work really well together. So uh, it all depends on what you're going for if you're doing PvP. Uh, so it, it, it's it's up to you. But you know, when I look to breed, I, I like to get a pure axi because um, I, I do it for selling and I also do it for other reasons, um, scholarship accounts, etc. But it, it's it's really up to you how you do it. So uh, and you can see the the tail, which is I have one one fish. Uh, trait in there, uh, which is uh, it's it's a little scary if I if I if I'm gonna be honest, um, because I could get that snake jar, which is a reptile move, uh, or I could get the last one, which is a bird move. Uh, bird move is not so bad. So you can see that the eyes um, are bird eyes, and bird eyes are actually uh, give you a speed stat. So you know people say sometimes the perfect fish has 57 speed. You know the faster fish which is good. Um, so birds actually, um, it's not bad. This is not bad. Uh, if it's, it's a little not, you know, unpure, but it's fine. Either way, this, this, uh, this eye is going to give me what I want. Um, but the, uh, now if you're looking at the ear, the nutcracker could introduce a, uh, a beast trait into this and it definitely is going to take my speed down. Um, but, uh, but it'll give me some more morale. Okay. Uh, so not, not too bad, not too bad. Um, this is a decent, uh, aqua to, to breed with. I'm not going to say it's great. It's a decent one. Let's look at a great one real quick. So, um, I was very, very lucky to get this little guy. I named him, uh, aqua printer. <laughs> Uh, cause this is, uh, this is a hundred percent and this is, this is exactly what you want when you do a, uh, a breed, right? Uh, I mean, this is, this is the goal. Uh, this is my goal. It might not be your goal, but it's my goal. Uh, so it's not the purest. So, it, you know, if you had three clamshells, if you had three risky fish, you know, it'd be like, wow, this, you know, I got a pure goldfish, which is almost a guarantee that you're going to get a goldfish, which is fantastic, especially um, with whatever you're breeding with. But uh, it's a little bit random uh, of a 100% aqua, but still, it's 100% aqua. I mean, this is, this is, uh, you know, the cream of the crop here. And yeah, you could see that the these are the stats that are just what you would get at 100%. Uh, so if you go back to the one I was looking at before, that's uh, uh, 80%. Similar stats, right? It's it's not bad. So now let's take a look at the uh, the 78 here. So a little bit different. A little bit different, but it ha does have a pure, it has that pure uh, horn, which is great. Uh, the goldfish chance is really good. Uh, risky fish also good. Um, we might be creeping into some beast ear territory and the snake jar is really hard to get out of the line. Uh, and we'll get into why that is uh, just because it's it's that, that first, uh, that main trait 
um, which is which is tough. And and we could take a look at these two. So these are these are two. I actually did a breed with both of these. So an 80% and a 78. Okay. And yeah, there's a good chance I'm gonna get a snake jar out of this one. At least in at least in one. Hopefully not two. I really want to get a uh, a koi out of this. If I can get a koi out of this, I'd be very happy. Um, but it will be mostly pure aqua, which is great. It might have a little bit of a uh, little bit of bird in there. But uh, the snake jar, I'm probably going to end up something like this, and we're going to learn why in just a second. But yeah. Um, so that that really that really concludes our first our first tip here is to really grab that axi extension it it will it's like the number one thing that you want uh to have if you're if you're going to start breeding especially if you're going to look in the marketplace to find good breeders um again what you're looking for if, if you're doing a fish you're looking for more blue than anything in your in your main r1 and r2s uh, if you see some stuff that's, uh, you know, a, a little bit, uh, a little bit different colored, Hey, sometimes it's fine, but just make sure you understand what the moves are and how popular they are together with the other moves. Because if you're, if you're breeding and breeding costs are high now, uh, you know, SLP is going crazy. Axis is going crazy. So you don't want to really spend a lot of money in breeding unless you, you know what you're doing. And, uh, if your goal is making money, let's put it that way. Um, because, I mean, even the floor axes are expensive, but of course you really have to do uh, some math to make sure that your breeding costs are, are uh, offsetting uh, what you're getting uh, for profit. So, yeah, definitely be careful there, for sure. Uh, let's take a look at a few other examples, then we'll get into the breeding calculators. There are a ton of them, uh, but we will look at the old school one that I love. Uh, I've always used it. Uh, so this is a good example of what can go wrong and right with the breed. So these these type of axes are really cool. Um, they're not they're not perfect. Like look at this guy. Uh, it's not perfect, right? You got some bug moves. You got a reptile move, um, or uh, sorry, a reptile uh, ear. Um, you have some R R one and R twos that are just all over the place. Uh, yeah, it's. It's not the best uh, for a breeder if you're looking to make a, a really nice tank. But however, this is what you could get in PvP. Like this is this is pretty cool. Uh, you have a, a leaf bug comboed with a plant card. You get an extra energy. You have a so you have two ways to get energy steel when comboed with another card. So bada boom. Uh, this combo here is really cool. You have another way to gain energy with the carrot hammer uh, tail. Uh, very, very popular tank move um, or just an energy generation move. And uh, yeah, it's, it provides some good damage and, and a little bit of armor. And then of course you have the, the Scarab Curse, which is, uh, it's, you know, people might debate it's, it's okay in PvP. I'd say it's all right. Um, it's not the best, but it's all right. But look at the look at the parents. So you had a 73% here, which is a pure leaf bug. We, we ended up with leaf bug. That's great. Um, and then you have a, uh, a 66 here. Um, of course, if you look at both of these, these have more plant uh, traits than anything. Uh, but, you know, this is what I ended up with, you know, um, a little bit all over. So there is, there is a little bit of risk when you do the breeding uh, because you might get some mutations, uh, which is uh, something that's been a little bit of a controversy uh, since we've moved to Ronin. But yeah, it's, it, it's still, this is, a, this is a great mid laner. You know, using it, I've used it in PvP. I think it's really cool. Um, uh, I, don't, I don't see it as a tank. For sure, you don't have enough armor here to really support yourself as a tank. Uh, but you, uh, you're a good mid laner. Am I going to breed this one? Uh, maybe. I might breed it. Uh, would I? I mean, it's 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 really a choice between either you want to use it, you want to breed it, or you want to sell it, right? 
and I think it's cool. I might use it. I might breed it. I might breed it with something else, you know, of similar and just get get something weird. Sometimes the weird ones are good. Like maybe maybe I want something weird. I don't know. I mean, this one, this one I grabbed, it's, it's almost, uh, it's a reptile tank. It, it, same, same HP, uh, you know, these two together might, might actually produce something interesting. So <laughs> maybe, maybe that's the breed. Uh, I mean, we'll see. Uh, interesting is fun and pure is kind of boring. I'm, I'm not going to lie. Pure is a little bit boring. Interesting is way more fun. Uh, so uh, a little bit of a, uh, uh <laughs> we've moved a little bit out of the way here, uh, but let's, uh, let's go back to, let's use these two. We've been, we've been talking about these two aquas. Um, of course you could see the babies here. We don't know what we're going to get yet, uh, but we can figure out kind of what we're going to get using this, uh, breeding calculator up here. So this is another thing I will put in the description. Uh, let's let's go through this together. Uh, so the first thing we want to do is we want to grab we want to grab the axi number. I can't believe we're in the millions, but we're almost at two million. Two million axes. That is crazy, isn't it? That's insane. I, man, I remember breeding axes in. I thought the hundred thousands were crazy, um, but I guess not. <laughs> <laughs> Hundred thousands are not crazy anymore. That's that's nuts. We're in we're in the millions, man. We're in the millions. That's crazy. Now this, uh, of course, uh, yeah, this is normal because <laughs> the, the demand of axes is crazy. So sometimes the page doesn't load as as fast as you want it to. Um, but I did collect both IDs. So you wanna? This is a breeding calculator. Uh, for those of you who haven't um, seen this before, this is a breeding calculator. There are there are a lot out there now, um, but this is the old school one from uh, from Freaks. Uh, this is this is something I've used for a long time, uh, for over a year now actually. And it's uh, yeah, this is you put your two axes in, okay, and then you calculate, and then you're gonna get some stats to kind of give you an idea of what to expect when you breed. So it, it, it this is just an idea. It's not gonna tell you uh, exact data, uh, but it is something that you can use to kind of figure things out. Um, because uh, of course the mutations that I talked about earlier could happen. So just be aware of that. Uh, but this is kind of gonna give you your best bet of what to expect again. Uh, so let's start from the beginning with eyes. Uh, you have your telescope. Uh, there's a 46% chance. I'm not going to read off every one of these, but there's, you know, there's 46% 46 46 chance to get a telescope, which is a, a fish eye. Um, and then of course you have your 40% chance to get a bird eye. Okay. And these are stats. Okay. These, these affect your stats on your axi and your ear, of course, same thing, affects stats. And you have your 75% chance. So there's a good good chance to get your fish eye or your fish ear. Um, think of fish eyes. So yeah, you, to get your fish ear, there's a pretty good chance here, 75%. That's pretty cool. Um, so I, I really think that this is going to happen. Um, and then, of course, there's a 9% chance to get another one. So really, you have like this uh, pretty good chance and then maybe maybe you're gonna get a rep or maybe you're gonna get a beast. I mean, you could, you could, but there's a very low chance that you would. So I'm pretty happy with the ears. Uh, the eyes I'm pretty happy with too because this bird, I, uh, you know, hey, it gives me speed and I like speed. Mm, so uh, now we go down to the mouth. Great chance here, great chance to get the mouth that's bird or uh, a great chance to get a mouth that is fish and you might get a bird move which peacemaker is not a bad it's not a bad card it really isn't uh peacemaker is a great card these this is this these are both damage moves and this is a damage move the debuffs so hey you, you can't lose there i i i'll take it <laughs> uh and the horn it you know you're gonna get a 
you're you're definitely going to get a fish horn unless there's a mutation. Yeah. So that's perfect. That's what we want. This is what you want right here. You want this horn. <laughs> so if you're breeding, you want more of this. You want more blue if you're doing fish, okay? Uh, and the more blue you have, the better, okay? And then down here you have your back, which 93% chance, I'll take that bet for sure. If I get uh, this buzz buzz, I'm not, I'm not upset, okay? because that's a good damage move um, that also debuffs. So let's let's just do a scenario where we get Buzz and we get Peacemaker. These both debuff damage. So that's actually a pretty good combo together. Uh, you're, you're gonna turn whatever Axie into, you know, a low hitting Axie with those two moves uh, bundled together. So that's, that's not bad. That's not bad. So uh, then your Snake Jar. Uh, your tail. So this is this is where it gets funky. This is my only fear uh, on this breed, is to get a snake jar. And you know, to, to be honest with you, the snake jar is not that bad. Uh, so the snake jar, it, if it you know breaks your shield, it's not a very high shield. Okay, if it breaks it, then you know the rest of the damage that you would take when your shield is breaking is just absorbed. So your aqua is going to live a little bit longer. So I, you know what, I'm not. I'm not scared. If I get the snake jar, that's fine. Pretty good in PvP, decent in PvE. It's a, I believe it's a 90 uh, damage. Let's let's look real quick. Oh, sorry, 80 damage, 20, uh, 20 armor. Okay, and it's it's not bad. It looks cool. I mean, come on, it looks cool, and it's not bad. So, yeah. Am I am I worried? No, I'm not worried. I think this is. This is a good Axie. So this is a 78% Axie here with the snake jar. This is an 80% pure, 78 and 80. And look at what you could get. So you could actually end up with a 100%. And that's what happened to me uh, with my 100. Uh, let's, let's go back real quick. Hopefully the site loads faster this time. Let's go back and look at the Aqua printer. And you can see here the parents, they're not, they're not pure. They're not pure, okay? You got your 83%, and uh, <laughs> once once the extension loads here, this is this was not pure. This was like an 80. Yeah, this was like an 80. This this was I, I love this one um, because of the sunglasses, but I did uh, I did sell it to a friend. Uh, but yeah, this is an 83%, and this is this is like an 80. So how did look it? I got 100. What the heck? So it, it you could get lucky, and I mean you could get lucky, and you could also get unlucky. Are you still winning? Yes, you're still winning because the price of axes is ridiculous, but also the axe is fun to use. You can get a weird one. Again. I mean my best axe, and I almost sold it. This is my best axe. This is my most favorite axe I've ever played with, and I almost sold it because I thought it was it was ugly and unpure. <laughs> but it's the best one I've ever used in PvP. It's it's fantastic. I love this Axie. I've won so many games with this Axie, I can't even tell you. Um, it did, it put me into the 2000s of rank. It, it's crazy. I love this Axie. And, I mean, this is what you could get on accident. This was a pure accident. Look at the... I mean, we had a 76%. Uh, we had, look at, I mean, what the heck? I should have got a better, I mean, I should have got a better one, but I didn't. But I got the best one. <laughs> that's so, it's so crazy. It's so crazy. And that's what makes it fun, in my opinion. Uh, other people might not think it's fun when they get a, uh, you know, an impure Axie, but I do. I love it. I absolutely love it. Uh, so going back to the calculator, this is, uh, you know, we'll go through these real quick, but uh, you might get a color percentage, that's if that's important to you, uh, you know, and you might get a pattern or you might get a fuzzy or, you know, uh, I, I kind of like the sumos. I don't know if you've seen the sumos, but yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> those are really funny looking and I, I like them a lot. Um, but yeah, you might end up getting something unexpected. Uh, you might end up getting something pure. Uh, that's worth more, but yeah, 
And you can see by the price here, I mean, I, I've read too, uh, you know, knowing the market really well, I know that it's, it's in this range that these sell for. Uh, I've sold quite a few of these snake jar and pures because um, they're not bad. You know, they're, they're not bad. So, you know, um, I don't I don't think you should go and, you know, this is this would be my advice. Don't go and buy like two crazy impure axes, you know, and spend the money to breed them at the cost today uh, because I think that you're taking a risk. Uh, I don't know how well those sell, but it, it seems like everything's selling right now, but I don't know how long that's going to last. Uh, that would be my only advice. Um, if you're looking to start breeding and getting into it and really want to make the investment, I think that you want to grab something that might be, I mean, let's, we could take a quick look at the marketplace um, and then we'll conclude this particular video. Uh, but you want to, maybe you want to get something, you, you know, uh, maybe you should do like one zero to one breed here. Uh, maybe start looking at your pureness uh, to be about five, you know, and then you might be able to pick something up that is, and this is great, see, because you could use this extension, right? Uh, this is, gives you that quick glance. You might be getting something that is a little cheaper, uh, a little impure, like this 80% is actually not bad. So you have two uh, moves that are, are a true um, a bug move right the snail shell and the fish snack so you're 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 almost guaranteed that if you have a partner that's close uh, to, to this one um, but yeah and and just you know I, I probably didn't mention this but you, you know your breeding partner is really important too um, I should have mentioned that in the beginning um, but yeah so you know if you're looking to breed these two birds here uh, you know a little impure but but you know on the cheap side uh, you you have mo this is actually not bad to be quite honest with you watermelon's not the best okay uh, being honest but it's not bad it could work because you, you have a uh, you have a debuff move here uh, damage debuff with some armor so uh, the double talk is just oh, OP I mean, I, I need something with double talk, to be honest with you. Uh, cool Breeze, another uh, debuff move that's high damage. Um, good armor. This is a beast killer. Oh, I love this move. And this actually um, is what we call a backdoor. It's a it's a plant move, backdoor. Uh, and it's not bad. This Saxy is actually pretty good. Shoot, I might buy it. Uh, speed is not the best, so 61 is the best. Um, because of the watermelon move but look at those oh my those are really nice like breeding with this is is actually really cool like you might get a watermelon but who cares right you got some really good moves here uh so we were let's let's look at this one final thing here and we saw uh this pair so very similar very similar um not the best tail but not the worst tail. Wall well, gecko's okay. So yeah, let's let's take a look. All right, so let's take a look. I don't think that I would uh, pick these as breeding partners, but I do like the watermelon um, bird. Uh, so let's let's look. We have the eyes, 87% uh, chance, pretty good. Ears, uh, both looking good. Uh, we have a very good chance to get some uh, bird ears. Uh, mouth is is pretty good uh, so we do have some bird uh, bird mouth there uh, very good chance uh, the horn so kestrel or watermelon um, kestrel's pretty good chance 46 percent uh, watermelon of course is not ideal but it's not the end of the world uh, back uh, this is great uh, so the back is great uh, yeah, your, your, your odds are very good there. And of course the tail, um, uh, you know, you have 40% chance to get grandma's fan, which is really good. Uh, wall gecko, not, not as good, but, uh, not the end of the world. The only thing, uh, with this combination is watermelon and the chance to get little Al. Um, so little Al 
is uh, also a backdoor move and it, these paired together is going to definitely decrease the value of your Axie. Uh, so um, like I said in the beginning, I don't, I wouldn't pick these two as the breeding partners. I would, uh, I like the watermelon, um, but I wouldn't use this partner uh, for, for this breed. So um, very important when you're breeding to make sure that the moves do not, uh, do not conflict uh, so because uh, you may end up with something that uh, is just not good um, and that's uh, that's why you watch these videos to uh, <laughs> to find out uh, you know what to do what not to do um, this is this is good advice uh, but yeah I mean it's not bad uh, are there better ones I mean that's up to you to do your research right uh, we can we can sort by bird here and then it would be a little bit easier for you to find. Um, you might want to get something with the breed count. One's going to cost you a little more money for that first breed, but um, yeah, use your tools. That's really the, the takeaway here. Use your tools, use them wisely. And uh, again, you know, uh, I'll put the tools in the co uh, comments so you can grab them. Yeah, the, the only way you're going to learn is by watching uh, videos, by uh, participating in esports, by playing the game, and by, uh, you know, by meeting people and, and really asking questions and, you know, join some discords. Uh, when I first started, I, I started, uh, I met a good friend, um, Ohm, and he, uh, he was able to uh, help me a lot. Uh, you know, I was, I was a novice breeder. I was just doing my thing, but I didn't get into anything more advanced than uh, than what he, what uh, what I could do on my own. And then uh, Ohm really really showed me the way. I mean, he he made um, <laughs> we have a flow chart. We have all this crazy stuff, and it really helps you understand how the flow of breeding goes. And if you if you want to make farms and uh, you know, do some more advanced breeding. You really need an ohm, really. Um, and and there are folks out there like ohm um, uh, or ohm himself that would be happy to help. I mean, these are th this knowledge is uh, va very valuable, very very valuable if you want to start breeding. Um, of course, this is an introductory video with uh, how to use some tools. But later on in this uh, this series, maybe we can get ohm on and. And really dive deep into uh, into the best strategies for some advanced breeding. Uh, that that might be pretty cool uh, to do later on. Um, again, uh, you know, starting with a couple axes that are a little bit cheaper but a little bit less uh, pure is a good way to get your uh, you know your feet wet. Um, but if you do that, just make sure that you are looking for the moves that actually matter. Um, because if you get too crazy, like if you go to like the, way the like, uh, you know, something weird like this, uh, it might not be as sellable as, you know, something pure like this. If it loads, Hey, look at that. Look at that pure, pure beauty. But it, again, it's like 84%. It's not that pure, <laughs> but it's pure enough. Uh, people will love that stuff. They're like, hey, it's a pure bird. Cool. Um, but yeah, I would I would pick those other. So this is a great tip. I would pick those other birds as breeders over this one. <laughs> and I guess your uh, your quiz for this video is why would I do that? Uh, if you want to leave that in the comments. Uh, yeah. Why would I do that? Why would I pick those other birds over this bird? Uh, that is your homework. So. All right, until next time, thanks everybody. I'm so glad to be able to, to do this. I took some time. Um, I hope that, uh, that I get to do this again soon and give you some more tips that I've learned over the, uh, the time that I've spent playing Axies. And yeah, uh, next time, maybe we'll do some, some playing, um, yeah, some PvP in. Uh, I, I'm excited to get back in the game. There's, uh, it's been crazy over the past few days. I haven't been able to play and I'm really, uh, I really wanna get back in as most of you do. So 
hopefully this uh, this buys us some time. Watch my video, uh, check it out, learn some stuff. And then once we get back in the game, I will see you in there and we will have some fun together. All right. Uh, see you next time.